Hey, how's it going? Thanks for clicking on my video. Appreciate that support as always. Uh, in this video, me and my uh, co-pilot Wendell here hitting out on the uh, Sussex trails. Trails I've been on before, but I really wanted to come out and check them out here and uh, see the fall colors, fly the drone around, you know, just see what we can see. But we go out and have a good trip and uh, see some cool stuff, some beauty trails. So if you're into that, uh, stay tuned for the video. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. It really does help out the channel. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment, hit that thumbs up. I love hearing where you guys are all from. So we'll get to the video. How's it going guys? Well, I'm out here uh, just outside Sussex, New Brunswick at the trailhead of 3401 trail, the Sussex uh, ATV Club. Trail, it's uh, Club 34, it's their 01 trail. That's how their stuff works. Here with my dog Wendell as always. We're gonna hit up these trails. I've been on these trails quite a few times. I just haven't been on them in the fall. So I wanted to come check them out and get some good drone footage of all the fall colors because Sussex is beautiful in the summer and it's really really beautiful here in the uh, fall all the leaves are changing so uh, yeah we're gonna hit the trail here and uh, what do you think Wendell we'll get going we got the big wing of a uh, windmill it's been there for a long time so yes this is the uh, this is the uh, trailhead the new trailhead no, I guess not that new anymore but 3401 Sussex uh, club trail and Timberland trail this one's called and it's right here next to animal land and you can already start to see the nice colors uh, it was a pretty cold out last night it was got down to minus two there was a thick frost on everything this morning but uh, now that the sun's out it's all pretty much gone if you guys uh, ever wanted to come check out these trails, I would suggest uh, opening up your uh, Polaris Ride Command. That's what I use, just because it was free. Or your Quad NB app, whichever one you prefer. So I know some people use both. But uh, yeah, and then you can follow along. Oh, there's a, there's a gross right in front of me. I caught one of these at work the other day. He let me pick them right up. They're not very bright, these things. I wonder if I'll be able to grab this one. Hey, buddy. If I had gloves, I'd feel a lot more confident. Wonder would kill you in a second, man. <laughs> hey, Wendell, take it easy. Wendell, leave him. That's a good way to start off the trip. All those hunters in the woods. Not able to find any uh, any birds this year. I caught one with my hands at work the other day. Maybe I'll try and find that video and just stick it in. What a day. And then that one there, I mean, that would have been pretty easy to get to if I really wanted to. Maybe if Wendell wasn't barking too, it would have been a little better. Just passing under the uh, Trans-Canada Highway, they got these uh, <coughs> nice tunnels here. But you guys can see this fence, that's what that is, is to keep the moose, the deer too, but mainly the moose off the road. <clears throat> and these here are uh, kind of like one-way gates. So if somehow the moose did get out there to get back in, he can come through this way, but you can't really go out that way, just the way that it's designed. So those are all along our highways. So if you're following along, we just went uh, under the Trans-Canada Highway there, still on trail 3401.
So I think I know the answer to this, but what's your guys' favorite time to ride? I know not everywhere has the seasons like we do and a lot of places, but me personally, I really love fall. Uh, the temperature is a lot more bearable. There's no bugs, which is big for everybody in Canada, <laughs> for Eastern United States, all that stuff. I know there's bugs everywhere, but no bugs. And uh, the colors are nice just really doesn't get any nicer than this so yeah let me know down in the comments below which uh, which season you prefer riding in the most and uh, let me know why all right so we're coming here to the big scary Piccadilly Hill guys unless you are a super super novice or just really don't enjoy angles at all this this hill is not too too bad it is steep this first little section here and then she really drops off right down here it says to put it in four wheel drive load you know let your engine brake do its thing right now I'm in high two-wheel drive but uh, as you guys can see the warning here just says uh, two riders on a single seat ATV is not advised so yeah I'm not sure if that shows up how steep it really is, but she's a steep one. Let your in engine brake do its thing. What's crazy is that this hill used to be steeper than this. You guys can kind of see the erosion here. Right now I'm not touching my brakes at all. It's in four-wheel drive low. <laughs> Look at Wendell really leaning. <laughs> He's leaning back towards me. It's hilarious. Maybe I'll uh, talk to Graham or Jeff. I'm sure somebody and the Sussex Club knows the angle of this hill but uh, she's a steep one like I said I'm not touching my brakes at all I'm actually gonna have to give it some gas here now to keep it going <clears throat> always found the engine brake on the Grizzlies really good especially in low I remember I, my old ATV was a Kawasaki Prairie 360 and that engine brake was, it felt like it was on all the time. Like it never, ever went off. That was a slow machine, but it was very, very good. Good ATV as long as you didn't want to go fast. <laughs> so now we're at the bottom, a little creek there, nothing running. We got to go up the other side. And that is Piccadilly Hill. So we just had to cross the road there. Still on trail 3401. There's a sign there that says private property. It's part of, uh, what was it, Cardwell? I think it was, yeah, Cardwell Farms. And that, I believe that's the actual farm that we end up driving through. Uh, you'll see in this video, if you haven't seen me take this trail before, uh, you get to actually drive right through a, a working firm. Go right by the silos and everything. It's really, really cool. That's where the trail used to go. Now they got a more gradual set of just straight up. But uh, this is this could be a tricky section of the trail. It's never really talked about, but uh, you're on a bit of an angle and it is steep. See, it used to cross right here. They kind of put this little S turn in just to make it easier for everybody. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you got a little pant going on there now. What is that? Uh, so, yeah, you're coming along this trail. 
that's a beautiful section. You're gonna come to this, it's a little wind the road, the little picture of a camera going to the left. If you guys wanna come see this, uh, it's called the Bluff Lookout. So just stick to the left. If you don't want to, I don't know why you wouldn't, but maybe you're in a rush to go somewhere and stick to the right and that'll bring you around it. I don't think anything really needs to be said about this view. Alright, this is the Bluff Look Off, Trail 3401. You got a nice little picnic area right over there. There's never garbage, it's really nice to see. I love this club. Oh my god, who is coming up here defacing this? I'm reporting this guy. Everybody else is good to stay. <laughs> Tantamar ATV Club, he forgot his sticker. I remember him messaging, messaging me that or sending me the picture. guys uh, years of making videos I finally had a uh, audio issue lost all my audio for all this part and so I we left the uh, the bluff look out there and followed still following trail 3401 through the winding trails here you can see all the trees are changing color just beautiful into this trail too I highly recommend it and you come out through the gate and as I started heading down the hill towards the farm I actually met up with my neighbor here her and her friend were hiking the bluffs on the other side. So talked to them for a bit. Wendell got a little attention and we headed down towards the farm. And this is pretty cool. The farm is actually still a working farm and they allow the trail to pass straight through it. Uh, I think it's around a 10 or 15 kilometer an hour speed through here. Lots of, get the silos and the old tractors. Uh, pretty, pretty nice of them to allow us to pass through here. As I come out to the stop sign here, you guys can see this is actually their driveway that leads right to their house. And I'm going to pass a few cows here on the left. I just kept following this and uh, crossed the road and passed the fields and started heading up the hill on the other side of the highway, the old highway. And it'll bring us out to the top here. And this is called the number seven look off. This is another beautiful look off, basically looking back across at where I just was.
right guys that is the number seven look off it's beautiful flew the drone around got some really nice video it's the first time i think i've ever flown my drone here but uh if you guys notice any change in the camera i'm filming with my iphone i think this one's on 11 i don't know it has 4k so i'm trying it out see how that works anyways i think we're gonna uh hit the trail here now and uh, maybe find somewhere to stop and have some lunch Oh, my audio issue is still happening here, but uh, that's all right. We'll do the voiceover. Let me know in the comments if you guys don't mind it. I've been toying with the idea of doing a voiceover on some of my videos anyways. Uh, this section of the trail is beautiful. It's all tree covered and they're really turning turning a bright yellow now. Film this drive-by with my iPhone. Hopefully you guys can tell the difference in quality video. Basically, we just follow the trail down through the this hardwood forest, lots of switchbacks going up and around hills, over these beautiful crystal clear rivers. Really hard to beat Sussex, but uh, it was all on the destination to get up to Holy Mountain, which is a ski hill here in New Brunswick. And uh, at the top of the mountain, there is a lookout tower. So the ATV club and a few other uh, donors all put in money to build this. And it's a really cool spot to come check out. It really gives you a 360 view from top of the hill. I flew my drone around here. to uh, the tower here top of Pauly Mountain flew the drone around a bit uh, it's just beautiful up here every I, I don't know how else to uh, explain it but uh, hopefully those colors are showing up here good I have my iPhone turned on 4k so you guys should be able to see the colors pretty good but uh, yeah anyways I guess we're gonna keep uh, hitting the trail here and uh, make our way over to Friars and O's catch up with you guys when we get down there I can hear Wendell whining for me all right so that is Pulley Mountain Tower it's a little sitting area there if you ever want to have a lunch that you didn't need to have a fire like me enjoy the view all the rolling hills hard for me to call these mountains when I see some of you guys out western and western Canada and you know uh, Colorado you guys have some serious mountains but this is what we have still hillier than old Saskatchewan I didn't record any coming up but uh, this trail to get up to the tower is actually beautiful too it's steep uh, fairly technical but nothing too crazy lots of trees of course with the changing colors I can't believe how many mountain bike trails there are in through here too. I didn't know mountain biking was so popular here at the ski hill. Pretty cool. Oh, what? Did you just look at it? This looks like something out of a movie. I, like, how pretty this is with all these nice fields and the trees. And up here, there's like a big valley. The valley cuts all the way in, goes right by Friar's Nose and stuff. Man. If anybody out there has some land around here that they would like to get rid of, and if it could be on this river, you want to help out my channel, <laughs> selling me some land, I could build an off-grid cabin, be right on the trails. I'd love that. Well, 
First time I've ever seen the landowner here. Or a truck here, I should say. I don't, well, the window's open, so he's got to be around here. <clears throat> well, this was kind of shown to me. When you pass all that stuff, you get back up here. Like you pass the camp, you get up here. You're supposed to turn to go left. But if you guys go right, you go to another look-off. There's a lot of tracks. Uh, and the look-off will be looking directly across at Friar's Nose. So we'll go check this out quick, and then we'll head out. A lot is still uh, the tree. Got a lot of hardwoods here, and then it turns into some uh, softwood forest. But down below, it's all hardwoods. And if you guys can see the little point right over there, I'm not sure how well that'll show up on the GoPro, but that is Friar's Nose. That is where we're going to go. There's no direct line. I have to kind of go around and over to it, but then I'll connect on the trail to get me back out to uh, right around, uh, I guess, sort of close to where that number seven look off was. But uh, yeah beautiful hidden here <clears throat> I'm not a fan of clear cutting but uh, it sure did open up this area to, to be able to see so that's one good thing I guess so this is called the eight minute trail <laughs> I'm guessing it takes eight minutes to get through but uh, it's kind of cool they turn these old shipping like the smaller shipping containers into bridges and then the wider side by side would have to go through there, but uh, I don't. It was really tight for my father's Pioneer, just because of the shape of the roll bar. <coughs> but uh, you could fit through for sure. Man, oh man, that was a little camp right here to the right, and they got all kinds of uh, maple syrup set up there. The the hoses going through the trees, but this eight minute trail is pretty smooth like this the whole way, and. Lots of hardwoods. <clears throat> All right. Turning off here onto the 3415 trail. And uh, this will bring us around to Friar's Nose and then keep going. It'll bring us back to get us towards the truck. All right. Get down to the, the Y and you see to the right. If you want the look off, go this way. Keep going. We're going to go that way when we leave. And uh, for Friar's Nose. There's a parking area right here. So if you are not comfortable, do not try and go up this. It is steep. It is on a bit of a bit of an angle, so and if you've got two people on your machine like you definitely don't want to do that. So even Wendell I'm probably going to let him out and let him run up the hill. All right. So this is Friar's Nose Trail. The steep section to get to the look off. bit steep but uh, if you want to venture up you get a view like this so yeah you definitely want to watch it here she drops right off any clue how high this is but uh, definitely don't want to fall hey buddy hey bud no 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 he doesn't like heights man it's beautiful hopefully it's not too windy to fly the drone
Horatio ended up coming back here. Wendell and I packed up and uh, leaving Friar's Nose. Heading back down the steep hill. I uh, had it in four wheel drive uh, low. Let the engine brake do its thing and I had to keep on the brakes there too. But uh, get down back down to the Y here where I turned off earlier. Turned back onto the 3415 trail. This, uh, I think this is the first time I've taken this trail. It was actually very, very nice. I loved it. It brought us back down the hill and onto still the 3415, but this is actually called the Arnold Hollow Road. I think it's just an old back road. There was a couple of camps on it, but very, very pretty with all the hardwoods and stuff. But uh, yeah, I basically took 3415 back over to the number seven look off, past everything, and uh, this is back at Piccadilly Hill. We're almost back here, so. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, leave me a comment down below. I uh, really love hearing from all you guys. Uh, let me know if you like the voiceover and the iPhone video. and Yeah, just anything you want to tell me. If you didn't like it, let me know too. <laughs> Always like to hear from you guys. I try to respond to all the messages. But uh, Life's been busy right now with the kids and work. But uh, I'm going to still keep trying to get out these videos for you. I uh, appreciate the support as always, and I will see you guys on the next one. Cheers.